Hello and welcome to this lesson on installing the required packages that we will be using throughout this course. So, um, what I have is a script for you guys to download and I'm just going to show or recreate the script on the screen here. So we're in the project uh, working directory, so you can see this because I have H HR 201 employee attrition project here and it also shows that the project is loaded up here. And what I'm going to do is create a new script using the uh, add symbol and selecting R script. Okay. And I'm just gonna paste some code in here for a, a minute and uh, we'll just go down through it, show you what I'm doing. So um, we have several packages that we're going to be using throughout the um, balance of this course. The first one is H2O that is a high performance machine learning library. And we're primarily going to be use that, using that. That's going to, be, going to be the workhorse in the modeling segment. The second one is Lime. That is for explaining black box models. And that'll be used in conjunction with H2O. So H2O has um, several types of models that are traditionally not explainable. These are things like random forests or stacked ensembles or deep learning neural nets. Um, these models traditionally um, are very complex and uh, therefore lack explainability inherent to the, the model. The Lime program or the Lime um, package will allow us to explain those models um, using a, a very cool technique that we'll talk about in more detail later. The third one is Recipes, and this is a newer package uh, created by Max Kuhn at our studio. And this is one of my favorite packages because it really makes um, pre-processing machine learning, data, getting data ready for machine learning by pre-processing, making transformations, creating dummy variables, and so on, uh, makes it a lot easier than traditionally it's been in the past. Uh, the fourth one there is the Tidyverse. So this is a set of packages that is used for data science and it includes a number of workhorse packages that I, along with many other people, use all the time. This includes packages like dplyr, ggplot2, per, tidier, for cats for categorical variables, uh, stringer for working with text, uh, and a number of other packages. The fifth one there is tidyquant. This is actually one that um, I'm the creator of, and uh, it is a business science package that's primarily used for financial time series. While we won't be getting into time series very much in this course, uh, it does have a very nice theme called Theme TQ. It's, it's used with ggplot2 to make really nice business-ready business um, visualizations. The next one there is glue. This is for pasting text together. Um, it makes it's a lot easier to use than the traditional paste or paste zero functions in base R. Uh, the next one is cowplot. That's for handling multiple GG plots and, and uh, really putting them together into making a collage of plots. Next one, GG Alley. This is a really cool package. Um, it's very useful for visualizing data. We use it in the data understanding segment uh, for creating visualizations. The next one is Skimmer. So what GG Alley does for visualizations when we're trying to understand data, data, Skimmer does for summary information. So it really does a good job of, of uh, and, we'll, and we'll see it in the data understanding segment in more detail, but it's, it's a really useful package. The next one is FS, which we've already used a little bit in the um, uh, segment on creating the directory structure. So that is, is useful for working with file system in the directory structure. Read Excel and Write Excel are the final two. So this is just working with Excel files. While we uh, will use Read Excel quite frequently, Write Excel, I'm just including that one in so you guys know that it's available if we want to write to Excel. So. Those are the packages, and what we can do is just select them all and hit Control plus Enter. Whoops, I must have missed a, a comma. One, one more try. Control plus Enter, and there we've got our packages in here. 
and next we can install packages, packages. So uh, just a reminder, I'm going to actually um, provide this uh, as a file that you can download. So don't worry about um, trying to type in all of this information. You can actually download it by going to the course website. So uh, again, these are the, the packages, the main packages that we're going to be using. Um, I'm very excited to really show you, especially H2O, Lime, and recipes for machine learning. Those will be very useful and um, the other packages as well. And it looks like we're finished. So this concludes the segment on uh, installing required packages.